If I came here on the, the RSK Academy, I'm refreshing to do all the beginning again, okay? Q, you have in NIFT. What's happened here? So, I came here. This is my connection today. That's not so good. Like, I do the login. And the, you can see that now I have NIFT here, okay? So, for you, Chimena, you need to use this, exactly this. You are not using the Wallet Connect. You are using NIFT here. If NIFT don't appear for you, refresh the page. It's only this. Like, I prefer to use, I prefer to use the MetaMask, so I will come back. Don't have you both in, uh, enable in the same time. Your browser will be crazy, okay? I disable the NIFT and enable the MetaMask again. And then I came here, I will refresh again. Yes, I do the login. Look, now I have a MetaMask because I have a MetaMask enabled. Wow, why is so long today? Why it takes so long time? I don't know. Let's do it again. It's supposed to be very fast. Maybe I don't uh, turn off my computer for some days. Yeah, maybe your computer is lazy today. As it is. But I will ask to the guy that create academy with me to to help me later. We need to check if his everything is okay. Well, it's done now. So it's perfect. And we are here in Remix. I think every, uh, you are here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Shimena, maybe it's faster to you to install the MetaMask. What uh, it's better for you, okay? Create a new wallet and it's okay too. And, okay. So, we are in Remix here. And we are creating our first smart contact. Our first smart contact, you have our name on the blockchain. But if you don't like to have, uh, don't like to have your name, uh, forever in the blockchain, put another name. It's up to you, okay? <laughs> but you need to have one name in the blockchain. And this name will be linked with you, your wallet. Uh, and then it will, will be validated by the academy. It's so cool. I really like it. Uh, so let's create a new smart contact using Remix. I prefer to use Remix when I started a workshop because we don't need to install it any um, any two more complex, uh, we can use Truffle, you can use Hard Hat, but for a workshop, uh, this is a, a short workshop, so it's better to do something that we don't uh, take a lot of, of time installing tools, okay? So let's go here to create a new file. We'll copy some instructions for you too, so create a new file. Name, file name to be better, file name, name.sol. I am in Remix File Explorer. Uh, it's not here, okay, it's down. It's in the create a new file. And then here, oh, I have one here. I will erase this to create again. Delete. Okay. Let's do with you since the beginning. So, here, create a new file, okay? And the file is, file name is name. If you put only name and click enter, it will be perfect because 
it will be name.sol. The sol must be lowercase, okay? So this is nice. I came back here, and now I will copy this. This is the smart content, and I will explain this for you. This is my smart content, and also I will put it here. So this is our smart content. And copy and paste everything that is between the begin and the end. Okay? So from line 83 to line 98. Okay? And you will put this here. If uh, for you it's not with the colors, it means that probably you don't have the right extension here. Like, or you don't have any extension, or you put the sol in uh, uppercase. It's very important that you need to put the sol in lowercase. Okay? And let, it, let me explain what we have here. First, we usually have um, a comment. Uh, defining the the type of license of this smart contract. This is IMAT, it's open source. And then I have a definition. It's very important to have a definition of the what language and what version of the language I'm using to create this smart content. So we do this with the command pragma and the language is Solidity. The version is 0.8.1. And then, here I'm defining the content. It's exactly, uh, this is Solidity, okay? This is exactly the same that I can use on Ethereum. And I have here um, the, uh, I have a, a smart content, so I declare this with the, the word content. And this is the name of my smart content, so name is name. Uh, I will put a better name in the future, I promise you. And what I have in my smart contract? I have two variables. One string that I can store anything. And this is private. It can be accessible only inside the smart contract. And the name of my string is name again. And I have another variable uh, of address. So I can store only address like uh, RBC address or Ethereum address because they are compatible, they are almost the same. This is a public variable, it can be, uh, you can see this variable outside the content like, uh, like a function. And the name of my variable is owner, so it's the person that is publishing the smart content. I'm defining this in the constructor. So the constructor is a function that is executed only when you are deploying the smart content. And in the constructor, I have two definitions. We usually use the constructor to initialize some variables. So I'm initializing the owner, and I'm saying that the owner is the address who is sending the transaction to the blockchain, the message dot sender. The transaction is called a message here, okay? And here, I define the name that I would like to store on blockchain. So change the name on line 10. So line 10, update the name. Okay? I think this is wrong. Okay, so I will do this now. Uh, now I I will change the full name for uh, my my name, uh, Solange Gueiros. This is my name, and the, uh, it means that I'm saving my name on the blockchain forever because it's uh, I have a smart contract with my name. This is the idea. Okay.
perfect. And then I have a function. It's a simple function. Uh, to declare a function, you need to use the word function to declare it. The name of my function is getName. It's public. Any, any person can call this function. It's a view because it, it doesn't um, it doesn't modify nothing on the blockchain. And it is returning a string. And the string is the name that we started here. Okay? Uh, I prefer to create this like a private and then create a function to return it uh, because this is a, a best practice and uh, it's also to you learn how to do it. So is this. This function it's very, very easy. This is much content simple. We have other more complex that uh, I can show for you later. Maybe not do live, but uh, we can try. It's n not a problem. So this is our smart context. And let's, uh, the next step is deploy on the RSK testnet. So next step. Everything that I'm teaching you, it's here with details, OK? So you can uh, try later follow the instructions too. So let's do this. We need to change the to change the environment. Oh, okay, here. I'd like to do this. So I am in remix. I came here to the one, two, three, fourth icon or third button. And I change the environment. I am in the deploy and run transactions. And I need to change from JavaScript VM to injected Web3. Uh, it means that I'm connecting the remix with my web wallet. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, two days ago it uh, happened the same. It takes some time to respond for me. So if you have some doubts, I can help you. Now let me check the... You can put here if you have some doubts too. It's not connected yet. In the moment that it was connected, I will receive a message from MetaMask to authorize this too. Probably I will refresh this again. Yes, it's not connected. So I will refresh it. Maybe it's a problem with my, my computer now because this is not normal. Let me check if I can close something here. No worries, this happens. Yeah. So uh, we set up MetaMask. Uh, um, let's just recap real quick while that happens. Uh, we set up MetaMask. We got some uh, testnet um, smart Bitcoin. And now we're writing a smart contract on um, Remix. And we're going to want to deploy it on RSK testnet, right? Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Anthony. It's and after a that... Very good recap. Um, so after after deploying it on the RSK testnet, um, maybe we'll want to interact with it. Um, and then, do you have a front end um, um, part to this as well, or mm, not for this smart contract? I have it to the order. We can do the order too, or uh, I can show you how to do it. Yes, now it's working. Like when I came to Injected Web3, uh, MetaMask, it's important to open a window because I need to authorize this. And now I'm doing next and connect. So you can see here that you can see your wallet and uh, our RBC is here. Okay, this is very important. And then you will click in the button Deploy. Uh, uh, another point. 
check if you have here in the third icon a green sign. It means that the smart content is compiled. Maybe you don't have. If you don't have,